So welcome. Welcome to our public witness for today, August 27th. My name is Maria Elena Perales, and I am part of the St. Joseph Justice Center on behalf of, for, for the Sisters of St. Joseph of Orange. And on their behalf, I'd like to welcome you to today's public witness. Today's title for the prayer is, as we consider giving public witness to the values that support our society and our earth, today we offer a reflection on unity and reconciliation as exemplified in the life of John Lewis. Today's prayer is sponsored by the Center for Spiritual Development. Leading today's reflection includes Sister Christine Hilliard. Raise your hand, Sister Christine. There you go. Sister Kit Gray. And, Sister, and Sarah Tarango, a candidate for the Sisters of St. Joseph. Today's program includes song, opening prayer, video, an examen, a responsive prayer, reflective action, and a closing prayer. So we now begin. People say to me, People say to me, Somewhere to begin 
gather with a hunger for unity and reconciliation. We gather because we are hopeful, because we have visions and dreams of being and living as one. This is not a time of quick solutions, fancy talking. This is a slow process. We are new at this endeavor, new at listening, new at hearing, new at taking enough time to honestly receive one another's stories. What is done cannot be undone. What is done next must now be done with care. We gather because we are hopeful, because we have visions and dreams of being and living as one. May the strength of this time together help us to walk forward with God's help. May the wisdom of this experience help us to know our path. We chose this video of a letter from John Lewis because we feel that unity and reconciliation that we're praying for today are exemplified in his life and in his words. So let us hear from him today. John Lewis's last words appeared in the New York Times today in an essay that he wrote shortly before his death, intending it to be published on the day of his funeral. Here is that essay read for us today by John Lewis's friend and admirer, Morgan Freeman. While my time here has now come to an end, I want you to know that in the last days and hours of my life, you inspired me. You filled me with hope about the next chapter of the great American story 
when you use your power to make a difference in our society. Millions of people motivated simply by human compassion laid down the burdens of division. Around the country and the world, you set aside race, class, age, language, and nationality to demand respect for human dignity. That is why I had to visit Black Lives Matter Plaza in Washington, though I was admitted to the hospital the following day. I just had to see and feel it for myself that after many years of silent witness, the truth is still marching on. Emmett Till was my George Floyd. He was my Rayshard Brooks, Sandra Bland, and Breonna Taylor. He was 14 when he was killed, and I was only 15 years old at the time. I will never ever forget the moment when it became so clear that he could easily have been me. In those days, fear constrained us like an imaginary prison, and troubling thoughts of potential brutality committed for no understandable reason were the bars. Though I was surrounded by two loving parents, plenty of brothers, sisters, and cousins, their love could not protect me from the unholy oppression waiting just outside that family circle. Unchecked, unrestrained violence and government-sanctioned terror had the power to turn a simple stroll to the store for some Skittles or an innocent morning jog down a lonesome country road into a nightmare. If we are to survive as one unified nation, we must discover what so readily takes root in our hearts that could rob Mother Emanuel Church in South Carolina of her brightest and best, shoot unwitting concert goers in Las Vegas, and choke to death the hopes and dreams of a gifted violinist like Elijah McLean. Like so many young people today, I was searching for a way out, or some might say a way in. And then I heard the voice of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. on an old radio. He was talking about the philosophy and discipline of nonviolence. He said we are all complicit when we tolerate injustice. He said it is not enough to say it will get better by and by. He said each of us has a moral obligation to stand up, speak up, and speak out. When you see something that is not right, you must say something. You must do something. Democracy is not a state. It is an act. And each generation must do its part to help build what we call the beloved community. A nation and world society at peace with itself. Ordinary people with extraordinary vision can redeem the soul of America by getting in what I call good trouble, necessary trouble. Voting and participating in the democratic process are key. The vote is the most powerful nonviolent change agent you have in a democratic society. You must use it because it is not guaranteed. You can lose it. You must also study and learn the lessons of history because humanity has been involved in this soul-wrenching existential struggle for a very long time. People on every continent have stood in your shoes through decades and centuries before you. The truth does not change. And that is why the answers worked out long ago can help you find solutions to the challenges of our time. Continue to build union between movements stretching across the globe because we must put away our willingness to profit from the exploitation of others. Though I may not be here with you, I urge you to answer the highest calling of your heart and stand up for what you truly believe. In my life, I have done all I can to demonstrate that the way of peace, the way of love and nonviolence is the more excellent way. Now it is your turn to let freedom ring. When historians pick up their pens to write the story of the 21st century, let them say that it was your generation who laid down the heavy burdens of hate at last, and that peace finally triumphed over violence, aggression, and war. So I say to you, walk with the wind, brothers and sisters, and let the spirit of peace and the power of everlasting love be your guide. 
John Lewis gets tonight's last word through the voice of his friend, Morgan Freeman. Have I caused pain to others by actions or words that offended my sister or my brother? Have I done enough to inform myself about the sin of racism, its roots, and its historical and contemporary manifestations. Have I opened my heart to see how unequal access to economic opportunity, jobs, housing, and education based on skin color, race, or ethnicity has denied and continues to deny the equal dignity of others. Is there a root of racism within me that blurs my vision of who my neighbor is? Cross the barriers that divide race from race. Reconcile us, O oh God. Across the barriers that divide rich from poor. Reconcile us, O oh God. across the barriers that divide people of different cultures. Reconcile us, O oh God. Across the barriers that divide believers of all faith traditions. Reconcile us, O oh God. Across the barriers that divide women and men, young and old. Reconcile, Reconcile us, us, O God. God. Confront us, O God, with the hidden prejudices and fears that deny and betray our prayers. Enable us to see the causes of strife and division and remove from us all sense of superiority. Teach us to grow in unity with all God's people and with all creation. Amen. Have I witnessed an occasion when someone fell victim 
to personal, institutional, systemic, or social racism. And I did or said nothing, leaving the victim to address, address their pain alone. Have I witnessed an occasion when someone fell victim to personal, institutional, systemic, or social racism, and I did or said nothing, leaving the victim to address their pain alone? God beyond all names, we are one in you. You have called us to the ministry of unity and reconciliation. We pray for those from whom we are estranged. Bring healing to strained or broken relationships. Forgive us for the times we have wronged others, whether by ignorance, neglect, or intention. Grant us the courage and the grace to seek their forgiveness and opportunity to make amends. Where others have wronged us. Grant us a gracious spirit that we may forgive even as we have been forgiven. Amen. People say to me, oh, you gotta be crazy, how can you sing in time?
times like these Don't you read the news Don't you know the score How can you sing When so many others grieve People say to me What kind of fool believes That a song will make a difference in the end By way of a reply I say a fool such as I Who sees a song as somewhere to begin A song is somewhere to begin Something worth believing in If changes are to come There are things that must be done And a song is somewhere to begin And people say to me Oh, you gotta be crazy How can you dream Times like these Don't you read the news Don't you know the score How can you dream When so many others grieve People say to me What kind of fool believes That a dream will make a difference In the end by way of a reply, I say a fool such as I Who sees a dream as somewhere to begin A dream is somewhere to begin The search for something worth believing in If changes are to it must be done And a dream Is somewhere to begin And people say to me Oh, you gotta be crazy How can you love In times like these Don't you read the news Don't you know the score How can you love when so many others grieve? People say to me, what kind of fool believes that love will make a difference in the end? By way of a reply, I say a fool such as I who sees a love as somewhere to begin Love is somewhere to begin The search for something worth believing in If changes are to come There are things that must be done And love is somewhere and a dream is somewhere And a song is somewhere to begin Thank you so much for participating in today's prayer. I want to thank the Center for Spiritual Development for being the sponsor for today. It was a beautiful and prayerful opportunity for all of us to be together. Thank you, Sister Kid, Sister Christine, and Sarah, and Yesenia for the technical assistance. And we'll see you next week.
Thank you all and have a great day.